nearly 2,000 delegates across the 275 constituencies in the country converged on the auditorium of the University of Cape Coast to participate in the 10th Youth and Women Conference of the National Democratic Congress, NDC. The auditorium was awashed with political posters of aspirants who caught last-minute support from the delegates. However, the conference unduly delayed because none of the candidates was physically present at the auditorium as at 12 p.m. It means that the traditional address by the candidates in a last-minute ditch for votes didn't happen. This compelled the electoral committee of the party to proceed with the opening ceremony without them. The national youth organizer role was the most keenly contested between incumbent George Opari Ado and Broja Jemfi, who had been viewed by some as a prosy of National Communications Officer Sami Jemfi. So when Sami Jemfi arrived in the auditorium, confusion broke out. They have accused him of meddling in the affairs of the election to elect the national youth organizer. The act, which marked the beginning of several pockets of violence, then intensified as it also attracted supporters of Broja Jemfi to the scene. Can you, can you, can you get down? Both feuding factions will not just let things go. And even after the police intervention, the angry delegates will not budge, prompting the enforcement of police personnel into the auditorium. Eventually, the police was able to calm their tempers, after which the two contenders of the National Youth Organizer position were locked up in a closed-door meeting for two hours. All issues been ironed out at this stage. This is not new in elections. There are too many people in this hall who are not delegates. Too many. And therefore we are going to ask everybody to leave the hall. After that directive came that everybody should go out of the auditorium, the delegates, observers and any other person in the auditorium at their time complied with the directive but upon getting out, the already calmed tempers by the police got reignited, compelling some of the feuding supporters of the party to engage in a free-for-all fight. They hit themselves with chairs, injuring two in the process. The police had to resort to warning shots in order to get them dispersed. The voting process, which was scheduled to commence earlier in the day, delayed till 7 p.m. However, just as sorting and counting was about to begin, more confusion erupted. This time, a supporter of the party challenged the exclusion of some delegates from going through the process, but this happened to him. The Tertiary Education Institutions Network, TAIN, had also earlier staged a similar confusion over the elimination of some names in the voter album. After all the drama had settled, the Electoral Commission then took charge to declare the certified results. Both Dr. Louisa Hanabisu and George Opari Ado, as well as their two deputies, retained their positions in the party. Meanwhile, National Women's Organizer of the NDC, Dr. Luisa Hanabisiu, and the youth organizer, Giorgio Pariado, have taken a swipe at the executives of the party for being biased towards their candidature. They spoke after they were retained in the party's elections held in Cape Coast. What was scheduled to be an internal contest among members of the National Democratic Congress later turned out violent, thereby stalling the election process for hours. We are respectfully asking our security men in this house to help us to resolve the situation there. Before the commencement of the conference to elect executives to fill the women and youth organizer positions of the party, some of the aspirants had raised concerns over favoritism and bias by the national executives towards their candidature. 
Dr. Louisa Hannah Bissou and Georgia Pariado, whose mandate renewal was eventually endorsed by the delegates at the 10th Youth and Women Conference in Cape Coast, did not mince words when they called the bluff of the party's executives. George Pariado, popularly known in politics as Pablo, also served a caution to his detractors. to teach his contender a lesson. The main opposition in National Democratic Congress, NDC, is hoping to unseat the governing New Patriotic Party in the December 7, 2024 polls. The NDC will, however, require a united front to ensure the party recaptures power in the 2024 polls.